Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for the Monica Makes It Happen show. I'm Monica Morales. You can see me every day on PIX11 News fighting for you. This show is about impactful stories and getting you results and repairs fast. We always highlight community champions who are making it happen. Our mission is to get people resources, repairs, and respect they deserve. Every day I'm in your neighborhoods and homes working to make your lives better. Tonight's episode is all about restoring heat and hot water. But first, this. Monica Makes It Happen is sponsored by London Disability, dedicated to helping the disabled get Social Security benefits. And tonight we're continuing a fight PIX11 News has been a part of for years, seven years to be exact, helping to restore your heat and hot water. Now we're checking in with the city's Department of Housing Preservation and Development, and we have a little more time to talk to them. The agency cracking down on landlords right now, making sure they do the right thing. Their average response time, get this, is two days once you call 311. We went to Webster Avenue in the Bronx and got an exclusive look at what they do. Take a look. Here on Webster Avenue in the Bronx, it's just another day on the job for HBD crews, making sure landlords are doing the right thing. They're in this building right now on the roof. Let's take a look. Monica, during our heat inspections, we make an effort to access buildings, boiler rooms. When you call 311 and complain about your heat and hot water, a city inspector is on your case. PIX11 News got a chance to go with the city's head of code enforcement to check on boilers in the Bronx. Very difficult to get your day started without uh, hot water. I mean, I know I rely heavily on uh, a hot shower every morning as I get ready. Josh Cucciaro has seen it all. Over a decade, he's been in countless New York City neighborhoods making sure landlords follow the law. We literally have inspectors out seven days a week responding to heat and hot water complaints made to 311. For tenants like 64-year-old Sylvia Cruz, she's happy they're checking. Well, the heat is on. Yes, it is. It's getting cold outside, baby. And her apartment thermostat says 70 degrees in her living room. And as I get older, I appreciate the warmth because I get colder as the years go by. And city teams make sure if emergency repairs are needed, it's done fast. From replacing parts and aging boilers to getting landlords to turn it on. Both a human right and a legal obligation. Over the next eight months, from October 1st through May 31st, New York City property owners are legally required to keep indoor temperatures at 68 degrees or higher when outside temperatures drop below 55 degrees during the day. That's from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. At night, regardless of the outside temperature, buildings must be maintained at 62 degrees. Cuchillero says he's looking to expand his team. We're looking to add approximately 40 inspectors to the team. All this hard work so tenants like Cruz are comfortable and get what they deserve. Nice and warm, nice and toasty. Since July, there have been 16,000 heat and hot water violations issued. If you have a problem, call 311. There are also a lot of programs helping landlords maintain their buildings. If you want more information, just go to Monica Morales TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, or scan the QR code right here, and we'll link you to that information. In the Bronx, Monica Morales, Fix 11 News. That's right. It's getting cold, baby. She's right. Joining us now is Anne Marie Santiago. She is the Deputy Commissioner of Enforcement and Neighborhood Services at the city's Department of Housing Preservation and Development. Woo, that title has gets me every time. It's so good to see you, Ms. Santiago. Thank you. It's good to see you, Monica. You're one of my favorite people at HPD. Don't tell the commissioner that, but since July of 2022, the city has taken over, what, 1,200 landlords to court for heat violations? You are busy. What's the biggest problem you see with landlords not providing heat right now? I think right now, especially, it's a difficult time uh, with the weather. Mm -hmm. So some days heat is required, some days it's not. Um, today, 59 degrees. Uh, you know, in some places it could be below 55, though. So in some parts of the city, heat may be required. In some parts, it's not today. Um, so far, luckily, we've had a, a pretty mild October. Um, but I think landlords, for the most part, are responsive. And, and we encourage tenants to let their landlords know when the heat is inadequate in their apartment. 
You know, I have to say I enjoyed so much going out with teams and seeing you guys out and about on the streets in those boiler rooms right there. You can see us with your teams. Um, you have a lot of teams and you're expanding that, but what can you tell someone right now to help put the pressure on landlords? Because they might be suffering. We get these emails every single day. That's why I love Facebook. I love social media because we can talk to you more in depth. What do you want to tell them about getting their heat on right now? So for landlords, we want to make sure that you've done your, hopefully you've done your boiler inspections if they were required during uh, the summer. And right now, the important thing is to make sure that you're delivering, you're getting your fuel deliveries on time, that you're up to date with any payments on your uh, utility accounts, that you have a plumber on standby if something should happen, if a part should break on your boiler. Um, that you can quickly and easily call someone to make those repairs. That's really the those biggest one, right? That's the biggest one is the plumber on standby. So hard to have a plumber on standby. And what I tell our viewers all the time is that you need to document, 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 and call 311. Use the city as a resource. They always call us, and our response time is pretty good. Your response time is about 48 hours. But... Um, so contrary to popular belief and what people tell us, they say, oh, it takes so long if you call 311. You guys are 48 hours. If they call, it's within 48 hours, right? Absolutely. Our average time for last heat season. So again, uh, if you call at a time like this, when our complaint volume isn't high, you may see us even sooner than that. Um, we really want to make sure that tenants are calling. When you call, please give your contact information so that if we need to reach out to you, we can do that. Um, we do try to call owners and let them know that we've received a complaint. We may try and call you to find out if it was fixed. Um, and we may come to your building and we want to make sure that you know if we were there. So tenants can check to see it if we've been at the building by looking at the yellow card that's in the vestibule of their building. The inspector has to sign that when he comes. Um, mm -hmm. He'll indicate there whether he wrote a violation, whether he didn't. You can also use our website, um, HPD Online, to see what the results of the inspection was. We'll make sure to link to that because people really need to know about these resources. And a lot of times they don't use the resources. I know they call us and we're there as soon as possible, but they can also call mm -hmm. you and document, document, keep a record of all mm -hmm. of the, and I, you know, I have so many years of doing this. People have these notebooks and that's such a yes. smart idea. Keep it in one place. So let's say if the inspector comes or if Monica Morales comes, you have your paperwork, you have that record right. right there. And I've, I've had so many viewers taking pictures of thermostats doing like, you know, doing their due diligence. And we love that. Um, you're still looking to add inspectors. You're hiring. So you're actually, there's 40, I guess, that you're adding. So you're hiring right now. Is that right? Actually, this past weekend, we held a job fair and we had over 300 folks come okay. in and hopefully we're going to be able to select uh, uh, the 40 inspectors that we need to go forward. And that was a great success. Um, the inspector job is constantly posted. So if anyone is looking, your basic qualification is that you have some construction experience. Um, go on to New York City's website, the job website, and you can go ahead and you can send in your information to us. And we're going to we provide, keep that on hand. you know, we're going to provide that information as well, because that's an important thing is jobs. We love that jobs for our viewers. What's the message? What's the message that people, what's the message for people if they're watching? What do you want them to know about this winter and about what HPD is doing to ensure the heat is in their homes? I think, Monica, one of the things you said about keeping track of the heat, we do encourage tenants to do that and to keep a log, keep a log of not just the inside temperature, but the outside temperature during uh, any times when you feel it's cold. Um, certainly contact your landlord as soon as uh, you feel cold and as soon as you feel like the heat isn't adequate. Contact 311. When you call 311, they will take all the information from you that HPD needs to come and respond quickly. We send a uniformed inspector who will come to your apartment or another apartment in your building mm -hmm. with a certified thermometer to take that temperature. If we issue a violation, it will be posted in your hallway, in your vestibule mm -hmm. for the landlord. You know, what, I, what I'm so impressed with is that so many of our viewers trust us and we're in their homes every single day 
every single year, every single winter. And what I love is that they hopefully will get a new resource here and know that you're on their side, just like we are. And it's a powerful team that we're watching landlords, making sure they're doing the right thing. Thank you so much, Anne-Marie Santiago, for joining us. Thank you. Another year where we're on top of it. We're watching those landlords, right? And I want people to know that here at PIX11, it's really our focus. It's really been our primary focus for so many years, making sure that you have your heat and hot water, because we know what it's like not to be able to take a hot shower to get to work, to wash your kids, make sure they can, you know, get ready for school. Thanks to everyone who's watching this. And don't forget to share this, like, tell everybody about it. And if you need your heat and hot water, you know who to reach out to, the city, but also us. We're here for you. Our response time is pretty good. We read all your comments and reach out to us with your stories and videos at Monica Morales TV on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok now. And don't forget to watch me every single night. We have some new time slots to tell you about. 4.30, always watch at 4.30, 5.55 and 6.30, so at the end of the 5 o'clock show. We're making it happen together. See you next time.